Alright, but Jagarib, let's give a general overview of uh, the 22, 2022 budget proposal that the Minister of Finance has presented before uh, the August House today in Arar. It's a very progressive budget, talking to circumstances in our economy, very progressive. Areas that were looked at by the Minister are all towards development. It looks like the Minister and government are pushing Zimbabwe forward and we foresee from this budget a rapid development in 2022 because uh, the foundation has been set. I also had particular areas that interested me like uh, the levy on the motor pool where insurance companies were just getting money, share the money from the motor pool and them not carrying risks but just sharing that money. I think the, the minister should have on that one taken about 50% from the motor pool and help uh, create a fund that will look after accident victims. Many of them go without proper medication. Teams. Last week, Honorable, you debated on the issue to do with informal traders. Uh, did the minister highlight anything in that in regard that uh, informal traders be catered for in this uh, 2022 uh, national budget yes. statement? Yes, um, uh, informal, trade, uh, informal, uh, informal traders are in various forms. Youth, women, and the minister is putting money even in the Empower Bank, he has put money, Women's Bank, Women's Fund, all those are going to support um, uh, informal traders. He has also put a good chunk in the, in the, in the, in the ministry itself to support the activities of, uh, of, 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 of uh, informal traders. He has also put again funds for infrastructure development to support informal traders. So in my view, uh, the minister uh, uh, is uh, really supported this very critical uh, sector. You know, informal uh, 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 the informal sector at the moment is employing more than 90% of our people and supporting it will definitely improve uh, employment and also production in the economy. Lots of members have le left the house disgruntled over the uh, uh, allocation that has been uh, given to parliament. What is your opinion? In my opinion, parliament was given a very fair amount. If you look, parliament had uh, budgeted about 24 billion and it got 14 billion. If you look at the total budget and the total amount which was then given as a budget, the total was three trillion, and the government budgeted nine nine hundred billion, right? Which means one third. But in this case, government, I mean, Parliament got more than fifty percent of that what they requested. I mean, government deals with what what they receive. They will only spend. I think it was a fair budget in my view. Uh, any other challenges as we go, there will always be a supplementary budget if it is necessary. And uh, let's look at our present budget. Did we exhaust it as parliament? We didn't. So some of these budgets are guides. People then think that they have been shortchanged. In my view, the budget for parliament was very fair. Does it address the bread and butter issues? Yes, it, it, it addresses 